living things need energy to carry out different types of activities. This energy is obtained from food. Nutrients in food Food contains nutrients, essential substances that provide nourishment necessary for proper development and growth of the body. We eat food such as cereals, pulses, meat, milk and milk products, vegetables, fruits, etc. All these foods contain nutrients in the form of carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals. Carbohydrates Carbohydrates provide energy and are therefore called energy-giving nutrients. Carbohydrates are found abundantly in food grains such as rice, wheat and maize. Food items like bread, chapati, oats, cornflakes, pasta and rice as well as fruits like banana are carbohydrate rich foods. Fats Sources of fats include dairy products such as milk, butter, ghee, and trees, etc. Oils, nuts, and dry fruits also contain fat. Fats provide energy and warmth to the body. The body does not need much fat. However, since it provides heat and warmth to the body, people living in cold places and in high mountainous areas need more fatty foods to keep their body warm. Proteins Proteins repair worn-out tissues and muscles of the body and are therefore called bodybuilding nutrients. Major sources of protein are meat, fish, poultry, milk, cheese, eggs, as well as beans and pulses. Vitamins Vitamins play a key role in building the body's immune system and prevent us from catching infections and diseases. That is why vitamins are called protective foods. Fruits and green leafy vegetables are rich sources of vitamins. Minerals Our body needs minerals like iron, calcium, iodine and potassium. Iron is needed for making blood and is found in green leafy vegetables, carrots and beet. Calcium helps in building strong bones and teeth. Milk and milk products like butter, cheese, curd, buttermilk and paneer are rich in calcium. Bananas contain potassium, a mineral that improves blood quality and also strengthens muscles. Water Water constitutes about 60% of our body and is vital for all the body functions related to its development and growth. It also helps in flushing out liquid wastes in the form of urine and sweat. This is why we must drink at least 8 to 10 glasses of water every day. Roughage Roughage is the fiber-rich, indigestible part of food which helps in excretion. Salad foods such as cucumber, broccoli, lettuce, capsicums, leeks are sources of roughage. 
Balanced Diet A diet that contains all the nutrients required by our body in the right amount is called a balanced diet. Whether one is a vegetarian or non-vegetarian, one must always eat a balanced and healthy diet. Digestion of Food The food we eat cannot be used directly by our body. Digestion is a process in which the food we eat is broken down into smaller and simpler forms which can then be easily absorbed into the blood and used by the body. The passage along which food passes from the mouth to the anus during digestion is called the alimentary canal. It includes the mouth, food pipe, stomach, small intestine, large intestine and the anus. The process of digestion begins in the mouth where the food is broken down into smaller pieces by chewing. Here, the saliva softens the food and also helps in the breakdown of carbohydrates. The food then passes through the food pipe and enters the stomach. The stomach is a bag-like organ where the swallowed food is mixed with other digestive juices secreted by it. The mixture is then churned and broken down into simpler parts. This food then enters the small intestine where the digestion process is completed with the help of digestive juices from the pancreas and liver. Here, the useful substances get absorbed into the blood while the waste material or the undigested food is sent to the large intestine. Water from the undigested food is absorbed in the large intestine which then throws out the solid waste or feces through the anus. Healthy Eating Habits Wash your hands before and after meals. Chew your food properly. Eat 4 to 5 small meals. Eat fresh vegetables and fruits daily. Drink plenty of water. Avoid junk food like burgers, pizzas and fried foods. Eat a balanced diet for necessary nutrients. Cooking food. Most foods we eat have to be cooked. Cooking makes food tasty, soft and easy to digest. Heat kills harmful germs present in it. Food is mostly cooked using methods such as steaming, boiling, frying, baking and roasting. Remember to not overcook food since it not just reduces the nutritional value but also spoils its taste. Remember steamed food is healthier than fried food. Food Preservation Food kept for a long time gets spoiled. This happens because of the growth of germs on it. Food can be preserved in many ways. Sun drying, preservation of food through removal of moisture from it by drying it in sunlight. Salting, germs cannot survive in salt solutions. Freezing or refrigeration, germs cannot grow at low temperatures. Storing fruits, vegetables, poultry, fish, etc. in a refrigerator or a deep freezer preserves food for a long time. Canning and bottling. When food is canned or bottled, germs cannot grow in it. The food is first processed and then sealed in airtight containers so as to preserve it. Pickling. Pickles are a good example of food preservation using salt, oil and vinegar. Fruits are many a time preserved in sugar syrup.